am doing well. How are you? Great. I'm excited about our interview today. Got up, got ready, got put makeup on for you today. Okay. Thank you. I am so happy to see you. Thank you. And look, I know you're busy. And oh, because you're busy with your fine. makeup and your, you know, the the, uh, the the oval, of course, and then you have your book and you have your makeup line, you've got other projects. So I really, really, really am honored that you decided to join us. Yeah, Thank you. absolutely. You're welcome. I'm excited to be here. I'm Thank excited. you. Okay, so let's get started. Okay. All right. So we want to know, well, I want to know, how did you get started in acting? Because you are phenomenal. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, my goodness. Um, <laughs> so this is how I initially got started. I don't know if this is the way to answer your question, but okay. um, when I was a kid, I used to play what's called pretend with like, we didn't know what to call it. We didn't know it was acting. We played yeah. with cousins and stuff. My right. favorite movie at the time was The Last Dragon. Mm -hmm. Barry Gordy's The Last Dragon. And we would watch that movie every day in the summer, like every single day okay. and get up and act out the entire movie. So to this day, I know every scene. I know every line, everything in that movie. Okay. But I just was always like acting in a sense, right? Mm -hmm. I'd be coming characters and putting on performances and my mom would, would film me just like if a, if a camcorder was on me or something, I'd get up and I'd be like, oh. And I'd be like acting and just doing something just like turn it on. over the top, right? Right. But my family didn't know anything about acting, nor did I. We didn't know how to really cultivate that skill set. Mm -hmm. So it's not something I pursued ever or even thought about. I never knew growing up, like, oh, I could be an actor one day. Right. I just, I just, I don't know. I just never allowed myself to go there. I wanted to be an attorney. And I just oh. was like, oh, <laughs> I, have, I was going to school for uh, political science at the time mm -hmm. and got into those major courses. And poli sci was beyond analytical for me. Right. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Personality. Absolutely. <laughs> so I was yeah. like, okay, we have to find something else. And then I switched to mass communication. And when I got into mass communication, that is when I was really comfortable in front of the camera. I loved mm -hmm. it. I fell in love. And then this little birdie's on my shoulder, like, hey, hey, you should try acting. That's kind of always been there, but I never really, I don't know, knew to do it. And so finally, I was like, okay, I'm gonna try something. So I didn't even try acting until I graduated college with a degree in mass communication, wow. broadcast wow. journalism. Yeah. And I moved to Houston, Texas on a journey to, it was like the stepping stone to get to LA. I wanted mm -hmm. to come to LA because I thought the weather was beautiful, honey. I wasn't even thinking about acting. Yes. <laughs> it was just like, oh, it's so beautiful out here. I want to come is. out here. That yeah. was it. Yeah. And I was like, well, before I go, let me just try acting. Mm -hmm. And I did. I wrote in some classes and I excelled very well. I won a bunch of awards and my acting teacher pulled me aside and was like, you got it, girl. Like you oh, yeah. really like Absolutely. look into this. And that was my first introduction of like, oh, okay, well, let me, let me try. And right. so that's how I got started. So you were winning awards before you even officially started on set and, and stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's yeah. amazing. Thank you. Okay. So let's jump into Mr. Tyler Perry, mm -hmm. right? So yes. tell us a little bit about the audition, the process, you know, the nerves, the butterflies, all that stuff. <laughs> Tell us okay. about your first audition. Oh, my first audition. Now, I auditioned for him seven times before I booked really? um, wow. Boot 2. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So the story goes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I don't know. Tyler, I auditioned for The Have and Have Nots. I auditioned for If Loving You Is Wrong. I auditioned for a few different movies. I don't even remember all of them now, but it was like a total of seven of them. Right. And um, I, I, I met him in person because he would come and do in person like producer sessions. Mm -hmm. I remember my first producer session it was for if, if Loving You Is Wrong. And the way you get auditions from Tyler Perry Studios is the night before, like literally eight, nine o'clock at night, you'll get an audition with 14 pages for the next morning. The audition wow. at 10 p.m. What? Wow. <laughs> like, <laughs> ha -ha. Right, wow. Ha -ha. So this time, <laughs> We got the audition. It was like literally 14 pages. So I was up, like you stay up all night. This is like life-changing moment, right? You right. stay up all night and you're like, okay, I'm ready. I'm going to get into this. Right. I did. I got there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll never forget this. We were at the Andas Hotel um, off of Sunset Boulevard and he had taken up the whole like first floor of like this, this hotel or whatnot. Mm -hmm. And we get there and they come out and they're like, okay, so we made some changes. There's new pages for everyone. Pages. Wow. And so we were like, okay. Okay. So what, are, what 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 are, what are, what what are the pages and how many and 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 what? Like right. it was another 10 pages that wow. I didn't know. And I was like, oh 
my God. Yeah. And so at that point, you just have to prepare. You just have to be like, okay. Just something I always to... say is that you've prayed for this. You've studied for this. You've labored for this. You've yes. prepared for this. So now you in the game. What you going to do, girl? Exactly. Don't show up. Okay. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You just so got to do what I literally... Do. I just, just, we all was in little corners. Everybody was in their own little spot, like trying to get it, trying to get it, trying to get it. And I did. And I went in there and I did great. And I think for that one, I was on hold for it, but I didn't book it. And so the show comes on and it's like, well, that wasn't meant. Right. Um, when Boo 2 came around, I was in a very bad place in my life personally. Oh, I wow. just ended a um, broken engagement. It was my, I was engaged to be married. That had just ended. Oh, wow. It was very like horrible way yeah and I was in a bad space you mm -hmm. know I was in a bad space emotionally mentally I wasn't really focused on acting I was in the space of like oh my life is changing it's going from it went from us we our to me myself and I again yeah. so I had to shift gears and be like okay now I have to make more money the place where I was living in was was for two household income now it's just me wow. so I was in a bad space right. like a major change major change yeah and I was working out in Orange County and Orange County is about an hour, no traffic from LA. Mm -hmm. And I was working at this, at this event, I was managing for at this um, food conference or something. Cause I worked in marketing for a long time. Marketing was my waitressing job. And my agent at the time calls me and she tells me about this audition. I, I'd already booked out and booking out just means you let your team know I'm not available these days. I'm going to mm -hmm. be in town. Mm -hmm. so, Cause I was gone for the week. And she's like, well, you have this audition. Is there any way you can make it? I was like, oh, there's no way I'm in Orange County. Like I'm here working. Right. I can't do it. It was like a Friday. And she was like, okay, well, when are you back? I said, I'm not back till Monday, like afternoon, evening. She's like, okay, I'll see if I can get it for late on Monday. I'm like, okay, I don't know if I can make that, but okay. Mm -hmm. Monday comes. She's like, hey, no Friday. She goes, okay, I got your audition for four o'clock on Monday. And I was like, okay, I think I can make that work. Yeah. Monday comes. We're packing up everything and I should get a call and she says, okay, so they bumped it up. Can you make it at 11 a.m.? <laughs> what? It's nine o'clock. Yeah. I'm an hour away, no traffic. I'm not I done can't. with work. I'm like, I, I can't. I, there, I just can't make it. I, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I, I just, I, I don't, I didn't have it in me. Right. right. And so she's like, well, uh, okay. Was well, there anything? I was like, I'm in Orange. There's no way. Even if I wanted to make 11, I'm in Orange County. Like. That's right. like going to be an hour and a half, maybe two hours at that time of day. Right. And so she's like, okay. So then I finish up my day. I drive back home. I get home at like nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. I get a call from my agent. I'm literally putting the key into the door. Right. Sorry. No, it, you're good. The key into the door and she calls and I'm like, Ugh. she's like, Taja, they really want to see you for this. She was like, she's willing to have you come in tomorrow at 11 a.m. Mm -hmm. need to make that just think of it like this she was like I know you have a lot going on but when you book it she was like go here with me she goes when you book it you will literally not have to worry about working that job you'll be in Atlanta you'll be living in your dream you'll be doing what you love right can you make it I said all right man send me the slides yeah right <laughs> she painted the perfect picture right right <laughs> that night I sat at my dinner table and I was broken I, I did not know how I was going to muster up the energy to learn eight pages of dialogue. Right. right. So I laid on the floor and I was sitting in front of my fireplace and I just got in prayer. I just started praying there and I prayed go. until I went to right. I fell asleep and really? I woke up the next morning and it was 6 a.m. And I was like, oh, I got to learn these lines. I got to learn these lines. Right. So I get up, learn them. So now. Oh, now I'm ready. Now I have the arm of God on me. Now That's right. I'm like, oh yes, honey. You prayed you know, up. You had me. I was like, oh no, honey. Yes. Right? <laughs> I was ready. That's right. I'm going to that audition. I'm like, let's go. I'm ready. Right. Within the next day, they call and they say, hey, we're just waiting to hear back from Mr. Perry. Um, you know, we just have to. We, 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 but you're still on hold. I said, mm -hmm. okay, tell them to take their time. I'm ready. Whatever. Tell them to take their time. Right. So I get home. I get back home and I'm like, you know what? I've been here before. I've been on hold before. I've been mm -hmm. waiting for Mr. Perry to make his decision on who he wanted to pick before. Right. What is my action step that I'm going to do that's going to be different this time? Right. So my faith step that I did is that I got up and I packed. Mm. I packed a bag for five days. I didn't know how long I needed to go. I just got up and was like, let me get everything together. And I packed. They called me back the next day. Hey, they're still on. They were still waiting. Just you're still on hold. I said, oh, tell me more about it. I'm packed. I'm ready to go. Whenever they're ready, I'm ready. That's right. <laughs> and she was like, oh, okay. I said, no, no, I'm ready. Girl. I'm ready. I already right. claimed this girl. My faith is already out there. My definiteness of wow. purpose is already claimed, honey. And that's mine. important. That's that very works. important. Absolutely. 
next day I get a call and they're like, you're the choice. You leave out in two days. And I probably shouted so much. Yeah. And it was at that moment later on that I realized that I had auditioned for him seven times. Mm -hmm. And that was my eighth time. And seven is the number of completion and eight is the new beginnings. Right. And my performance in Boo 2, um, Amadeus Halloween, is what made him call me and say, hey, I got a role for you in The Oval. And that's wow. how I did The Oval. Wow. Well, <laughs> congratulations. That's quite a story, right? Thank <laughs> you. I haven't told that story. story in a long time. I was like, wow. Yeah. Right. So speaking of those sides and things you had to learn, now we're hearing that Tyler Perry uh, yeah. does things in one shoot. So is that fact or fiction? Honey, that's super fact. What are you talking about? One take, <laughs> that's it. You got to go there already. That's a wow. super fact. Wow. Yes, every, every scene you see, we shot everything in one take. The only time we get another take is if, I don't know, something wasn't right. And he's like, okay, let's redo that real quick. Okay, start over. But that's, I've only had that happen once in my entire Tyler Perry wow. career. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. One take. One so take. you just have to be ready. That's the trick, right? That's, that's the, 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 the clue. Okay. So. Yeah. What's your most memorable scene from the Oval so far? Because we know it's not over yet, so. Right. I ha- you know, I have to. You just have to go with that kitchen scene where she read Victoria, honey. Yes! You have to do- <laughs> that was my favorite. That, oh, thank you. Absolutely. Because it was a long time coming for Priscilla. Mm-hmm. And, you know, one thing I really appreciate with everyone who watches this show and all the fans of Priscilla Owen out there mm-hmm. is that they were really on this journey with me. Oh, yes. I appreciate reading the tweets on Tuesdays, you know what I mean? Or all of the inbox messages that I that I get. Because right. I'm like, that lets me know, like, hey, I'm doing a great job in this role because you feel in my pain. You feel oh, me. Oh, yes. Like, oh, we were you with you. This. Like, they was, y'all be with me, you know? <laughs> we were with you for oh, sure. <laughs> In that moment when I'm going off and I'm sitting there trying not to do it, I'm trying, I'm trying, and then I just let her have just it. go off, yeah. Oh, oh, I was, Priscilla, oh, I was trending that night on Twitter, right? Yes. It was, like, it was, so, it was so crazy, but Absolutely. I appreciated the, the support of everybody being on the journey with me because it took, right. a, that was the end of season two. It was the finale. So we had yes. all of season one, we had all of season two and everybody's like, oh my God. So yes. the snap was my favorite moment. And that yeah. was the most he had written for me, um, for any anybody really, because the, the monologue was like a page and a half. Like on That's page- what I was going to ask you. Was was it yeah. a challenging to just get through it all in one take at one time and just let it all out? And nah, that- I was ready. <laughs> I was ready. <laughs> that was building up, right? <laughs> Woo, honey! When we were all receiving scripts, like when we get the scripts, they're coming in two or three at a time, right? Right. People, yes. Castmates were calling me and texting me and be like, oh my God, Taja. Oh my God. This is Priscilla's season. Oh my God. Did you read that monologue? Oh my God. Have you seen it yet? And I'm like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I was super prepared because I knew I only got one take and I knew right. this is a big moment for my character. And I knew that the audience is with me and I need to really give it to her. Like, yeah. So you were speaking for like <laughs> half of us. Yes. <laughs> At least half. <laughs> we were like, yes, yes, yes. So yes. I really love that scene. So speaking of first lady, now mm-hmm. I know that me and everybody on our channel, mm-hmm. we want to know, is that fight coming? That knock down, drag out, boom, boom, wigs flying, all that. <laughs> wigs off. Yeah. Um, well, you know, I can't really say, but let me just say this. I am excited for when Tyler Perry gives the green light for that. I think that we need a, a good old cat fight between the two yes. of them, right? Yes. Um, but I don't know when you're going to see it. I can't. I mean, I can't say. I don't well, we're waiting. We're waiting <laughs> patiently because we know something's going to happen. I hope I really hope to see that. I'm not a violent person, but right. <laughs> she deserves it. No, she just deserves right. it. Yeah. Yeah. All I right. That's so, why I really thought it was going to happen when I was sitting in her bedroom, when I went to the and I was sitting in her bed and I was like, yes, seeing her. I was like, oh, my God, it's about to happen. It's about to happen. It's about to happen. Yeah. I thought you were going to smother her with the pillow. I smother her, right? <laughs> you thought all the on her bed. <laughs> Okay, so going to work every day, going to the studio when you're on set, when you're filming the Oval, can you take us on like a virtual tour, some imaginary tour that you can kind of help us to understand what you're going through as an actress on set? Yes. So, okay, here's the cool thing about working there. Up and up until this last season that we did for season four, Mm -hmm. season two and three, we were living on campus, right? We were there um, because of COVID. So we had, oh, to, yeah, we had yeah. to stay there. Yeah. Wow. So the beauty of that, it was like, it was like 
being in college again and everybody's there and you know you we were living in different homes and but we would all kind of get picked up a few of us together and it was like I don't know it was like being on campus you know yeah. in, in that in that space but one thing that I loved about that time is that when we would get like Nancy and I have a lot of scenes together so when they would pick us up we were also roommates mm -hmm. we get into this big trolley and we had to sit so many feet apart and all this stuff and everybody get picked up and I have these videos that I have yet to put out but we would get on there and we would have to go get our temperature checked and then all these things to get mm -hmm. to work but we would get up singing and we would sing various like Christian songs because Nancy Tosha story can sing in real life and I'm just, I just like to say I'm her hype woman <laughs> yeah, yeah. Be Kurt Franklin. That, on, there you go. Ahead, you know, <laughs> get into the groove. Get into the groove. But I'm the one that maybe I can harmonize for two seconds. I'll be like, you heard it. Y'all heard it. Y'all heard yes. it. Yes. You know, that's me. That's me. That's how I am. I'm like, I can back you up. I can I back, can back you, up. you up. I'm a yeah. choir singer. Okay. Yes. But I'm not, I can't go out and leave. Right. Okay. Um, but it's great. So we would get picked up in all of our, you know, different housing. They would bring us around to what's called the dream building. But mm -hmm. during that time, the energy is we're preparing for the day. So we're singing, we're joking, we're having a good time. Right. We get there and we're escorted to what's called Actors Row. Mm -hmm. um, and Actors Row is, is um, in, the, in the, it's like a big office building kind of, but every different room down this certain floor is all for actors. And these are our dressing rooms. Right. So we go there. The beauty of that is they've already asked us what our breakfast order is. We already put in our breakfast order. So by the time we get there, the breakfast is there. Now, hospitality wow. at TPS, honey, is there. You get there like, this is lovely. I this know, is right? Like, I don't want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Know, so our breakfast is there so we can already eat coffee. Like, whatever it is you order is there. Wow. And then they come get you and they're like, okay, we're ready for you to go to hair and makeup. Mm -hmm. You go into whichever one first. Typically for me, it'd be makeup first. So I do my makeup for the day, mm -hmm. <clears throat> matching the continuity for whatever other scene we're filming. Right. But because we shoot so fast, you notice we have very minimal changes to like makeup or hair. This isn't right. like a show that shot like one episode a week. So you can mm -hmm. change your hair all the time. Like, no, mm -hmm. we shoot so much out of order and we shoot like a film. So mm -hmm. our hair has to stay the same because it has to match every single day. Exactly. Right. right. Um, so then from there, then you get your everybody... I think all of us have wigs yeah because our, our hair has to be perfect and stay the same and we're in the south so if it's humid if it's raining yeah it's gonna go right back stuff start curling up. yeah you know that ain't gonna match yes. with each yesterday so, <laughs> so right. we all have our wigs on um and then we go back into our dressing room we get dressed for the day they send someone in they mic us then mm -hmm. from there they escort us back to a trolley or to a you know like a big um, big van or whatever we all mm -hmm. go in there but again we're all spread out because this is still COVID time exactly go there they bring us to set we get to set um, every day is started with prayer our days start at 11 a.m um, or start filming at 11 a.m we start with prayer Tyler Perry leads us all in prayer it's optional whoever wants to be there it's not like mandated but this is how he starts mm -hmm. today um, so that's we all comforting prayer. yeah that's comforting he prays for all of us for the day and then after that it's like, it's, it's literally like when you're watching a basketball game and they jump up and they, you know, they throw the ball up and they, they put yeah. they, uh, hit it to see which way it's going to go. go. The game is going. Yeah. It's go time. Then you're moving. You're moving. Yeah. And we do a hundred pages a day, more than, but a minimum of a hundred pages a day. And wow. We, we have That's to. That's a lot. Yeah. So as That's a, a lot. former, you have to go there beyond ready, like super ready for right. the day and making sure everything is good and kind of go from there. So Do you guys yeah. get a chance to go over your lines and stuff before any of that happens or just, it's just time. Yes. yes. When we all fly in, we fly in about a week before production starts. Okay. A week before is going to be a hair and makeup consultation to make sure everything mm -hmm. is good. You got to go mm -hmm. get wardrobe fitting. You got to have the new wardrobe for the day. I mean, for the, uh, the series. Um, and then during that time, it's just trying to figure out when you can get with every person. It's like, Hey, you got time Tuesday at three. Hey, you got time. And then now we're just trying to get together, but I already got to go into that rehearsal with him knowing my stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or whoever that rehearsal I'm rehearsing with. Um, and then we go over it a little bit and sometimes, no, sometimes you don't get time. There's plenty of scenes you've seen with me and Sam and we just have to trust. He'll be like, yo, Taja, I'm going to just follow your lead. I'm going to trust you. I, <laughs> so I'm like, let's get it because we're moving wow. that fast and we haven't had time. Our schedule is shooting different. You know what I mean? We haven't had time to go over it. There are times they're escorting us to set and me and Sam or me and the other actor are just running lines like this. Hey, hey, what's doing? Okay, great. Da, da, da. Okay, ready? Okay, da, da. like we're just walking together, mm -hmm. saying the lines so we can get it, the pacing down. And then we get in there and, and Tyler Perry moves really fast, right? Yes. Really, really fast. Yes. 
he gives your blocking direction like this. He walks in, he's like, okay, cool. So you're going to be standing here. You're going to walk in here. You're going to sit here. You're going to talk. I want to get three shot here. And then from there, you're going to take up your bag and you're going to walk out. Okay. And that's All right. it. All right, guys. Cameras wow. up. Any picture? <laughs> wow. Like it's literally that fast. Not exaggerating to you. That's literally what it is. So when you're moving that fast, you don't have time to, to think about anything other than these lines that you prepared. Except performing. Um, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. That's okay, it. Okay, so speaking of Sam, yes. we have a couple of fan questions, and I want to make sure I include the fans because this is their channel too. Yes. So the first question, I only have two. So the first one is, are you still in love with Sam? Uh. <laughs> okay. Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we have to know. We have to right. know. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. I would say yes. Okay, good. Because, you know, obviously they've been married for so long, but they've been together 15 years and it's, right. it's a long time. You know, I, I think what we're seeing Priscilla go through is a lot of different emotions that she was never prepared for. Like she's never prepared yes. to go to work and lose Jean and lose mm -hmm. Diane and hear about all the other killings, you know, from Denise with the, her head being decapitated and all these things happening at the White House and her knowing and believing that it's happened with Jason and the, the first family. Right. She's not used to having to deal with death in that way and the workplace. Right. Back to back. Back, back to back. Right. <laughs> then on top of that is also having to deal with her husband of all this time. And this is not only, this wasn't his first offense, we now know, right? Exactly. Now here we are doing this again and she's going through all of that at the same time, he did it in the workplace, right? It's like, oh, exactly wow. somewhere you got to go to every day, every day. Mm -hmm. This is a woman that's, you know, over all of us technically, and we have right. to deal with that. And at the end of the day, if you look at the timeline of the show, now, a lot of men are like, oh, you should have did, you should have been doing it with your husband, blah, blah, blah. And, and <laughs> yeah, you, we it. hear that. Yes, and I get it. But at the end of the day, what I think people are forgetting about the timeline of the show is that was only, they didn't do it for three weeks. Mm hmm. Like this wasn't like months and months and Priscilla wasn't doing Years. whatever. It was, it was yeah. three weeks. The first family had just moved in in the beginning of season one, the first mm -hmm. few episodes, they were sitting on the sofa, having a good time, getting ready to, you know, get comfortable with one another and get mm -hmm. there. But then that's when Gail jumped out of the car and then right. he had to call her into work in the middle of the night a couple of times. And, you know, all these things were happening that was completely right. outside of the norm. So I do get and understand that, yes, we should be taking care of our husbands for sure. Right. But where's, where does the grace lie? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Today it's only been three weeks and you went right. off and did that in three <laughs> weeks. You got a <laughs> woman that's in three weeks. Like, come on, man. Right. Stop. Stop. <laughs> you ain't that horny. Get out of here, bro. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so does she still love him? Yes. Okay. It's just she's having to deal with a lot and how to process all of these levels of emotion. Yeah. She's because you're dealing with a lot of emotions all at once, so it's going to come out kind of crazy sometimes. We get it. Okay. Yeah. And the next question is, how do you maintain your girlish figure? Ah, oh, well, that's a big question. But thank y'all. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I work out. I work out um, on a very regular basis, mm -hmm. like three to five times a week. Um, I actually have some posts I'm going to start putting up like my fitness routine. I'm going to start talking more about fitness and things like that in, in January and upcoming mm -hmm. months. Um, because that is a question I get all the time. And I'm like, really? oh, maybe I should, uh, I should, I should talk about this more. I just work out, you know, mm -hmm. um, my boyfriend is also a, a, a personal trainer and he does that as well. So he's super in shape. I just posted him not too long ago on my page. That was like a big deal. It's like, oh my God, you put him out to the public. Yeah, we didn't know you had a boyfriend, Priscilla. I know, I know, ja, I know. It was like a whole thing. Well, I'm like, well, uh, Sam got a wife and I know. real life, you know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but um, but yeah, so that's what I do. I'm just very adamant on my workout regimen and my mm -hmm. diet. Diet is where abs are built. Your body's built in the kitchen for sure. You have to work out, but it's the diet that's most important. Right. So yeah. we, we really appreciate that because we need to kind of, you know, step the game up for January for sure. And the yeah. men, I won't even talk about that because they, the <laughs> comments that I have on the page sometimes, I'm like, okay, y'all. <laughs> oh my goodness. Chill out. Okay. Yeah. So before we conclude our interview, can you tell us a little bit about what projects you have coming up so that we can come out and support? And absolutely. So gosh, there's so many. Um, there's two coming out. One is um, a house divided. So I think a lot of you know I'm, I'm recurring on that show. I play mm -hmm. a character by the name of Jupiter. That's on All Black is an app or a channel that you can get on Amazon and all that. Right, the network. So, 
Yeah, the network, All Black Network. Yep, that comes back on January 13th. So mm -hmm. that's going to be House Divided. Um, in March, my second installment of Lola, the boxing movie that you guys have seen me do, that comes out in March, which is Women's Month. So that'd be Lola 2. Um, three other businesses that I do. Um, one's going to be the lipstick collection. That's this. I'm wearing triple threat right now. You're mm -hmm. out. Are you still? Is it back available? I know. No, I, won't, I can't get triple threat anymore. I know. That's COVID my favorite. I know. I know. It's my favorite. I too. want that one. <laughs> you guys have got to get the triple threat. You have to get it. Once you get to yes. that. Please yes. get it. It's so beautiful. It's pretty. Okay. So Thank pretty. You. Um. So that I have um, Taj Hair Growth. So this what we just launched, which is the um, hair growth stimulant. I'm super excited about that. It's for all hair types um, and it helps regrow your hair in men, women. It helps fight against male pattern baldness, alopecia, um, dandruff, thinning hair, all the things. And it's wow. all natural. So really all excited about that. Um, and then the Working Actors Academy. The Working Actors Academy is an online platform where anyone who's interested in acting can go and sign up. You can, it's a self-paced course where you can take it at your leisure. And it's for anyone that wants to get started in acting. And the book, you can also get the book. Where yeah, the book, the book, the book, the book, the book. Yes. I'm going to leave all the links down below so yeah. that they can click on it and, and go right to it if that's okay. Totally. Yeah, please do. And I also have a hub. My website is tajavsimpson.com and it will lead them to everything. So it's one link that I'll lead them to everything, or you can put, you know, all the separate links that's make it even easier. Um, but yeah, so those are all the things that I have going on that's coming up. Always follow me at all things Taja B. Simpson on social media. And that's it, guys. That's well, it. thank you so much once again, Taja, for uh, for having us today. Yeah. Um, thank you so much. Again, you're a fan fave, and we appreciate you so much. And just keep up the, the great work because you, you are phenomenal. Thank you once again. Oh, thank you so much, sweetie. I appreciate it. This was fun. Absolutely. All right. Happy holidays. Have a good one. Thank you, too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.